I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Xochimilco, which is one of the southern 16 boroughs of Mexico City. And Xochimilco is very well known for its ancient canals where you can jump on a boat and you can cruise around on a boat. And so the plan for today is I'm about to meet up with my friend Lalo from La Ruta de la Garnacha. And we're gonna start in the center, in the town of Xochimilco. We're gonna eat some amazing street food. And then after that, we're gonna go take a boat and cruise around. This should be a lot of fun and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now. Hey, 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 we are in Xochimilco for this street food of this small town inside the Mexico City. It doesn't feel like you're in Mexico City here, but some history of Xochimilco is that it was before uh, its own city, right? It was, yeah. a, it was a former Aztec city on the shores of Lake Xochimilco, uh, but Mexico City eventually grew into it. So that's why it still has a small city kind of feel to it. We are first heading over to the market uh, where we're gonna begin eating. This walk through Xochimilco towards the market sort of feels like a carnival. It's like a, there, there are rides, there are bubbles, you'll find clothes here, you'll find restaurants, there's street food and snacks. Uh, but we're going to head over to the market first to, to eat. While you're walking through Xochimilco, you will find a lot of pizza shops. Pizza is very popular here. We're just arriving to Mercado de Xochimilco and this is a, it's a manageable market. They have everything you want. There's clothes, there's food, there's fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, but yeah, we came here, we're hungry, we need to eat lunch, we need some, we need some food so that we go to the boat prepared. At one of the main entrances of the market, there are a, there's just a lineup of ladies serving food from baskets and they are packed. This is where we're gonna start eating and they're serving a bunch of different things. They all look very friendly. Muchas gracias. And this is with la coche. La coche. Do you know what is that? No. With la coche, it's the mushroom actually of the mazorca. Mazorca is where the corn. Oh. So when they pass it, they cut it, oh, the yeah. mushroom. Wait, it's, they, the, it's the fungus of the corn. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I wanted to try that. Wait, does this one have two? This is mushroom and this is with la coche. Oh, okay. What do you want? This is called tlacoyo. When you order it, she grabs one of the bases, she tops it with some salsa, and then she adds on some tomatoes and some onions and some nopal, which is the cactus, and then she sprinkles it with cheese. The base is kind of like, like corn starchiness. But you taste the mushrooms in there, and then you've got that salty, crumbly cheese. You've got the salsa, which gives it some, some acidity and some, some sourness. And then you've got the freshness of those tomatoes. It's wonderful. It's awesome. I've got a big mushroom in that bite. And you can see really close. You can see that it's the bottom base is just stuffed with mushrooms in there. Lalo and I are sharing both of them. And the next one that we've got is with the corn fungus, which is called Huite la Coche. I How's love it? the How's mushroom. Going, man? Oh, you like the God. mushroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's made it with the hands, so it's made it with love. It so is for sure. Wow. For sure. Motherly love. Mm. Oh. Oh, the corn fungus is amazing. It has this like crunchier texture and more of a sour taste. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, I need a unique flavor. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. And we are not getting far in this market. We are just going across the way. Yeah. And we're eating this next. This is perfect, Then We don't even need to walk yeah, yeah, to the yeah. next place. We just, we, we, we took about five steps. <laughs> to eat our next our and next food. It's look delicious and look at all Yeah, the look at all these people. Waiting. This is the busiest place in the in the entrance of the market, yeah. 
She has two different things that she's serving, tostadas and quesadillas, both with chickens. But she takes the tostada shell, uh, she puts a layer of sour cream onto it, and then she adds on the stewed chicken. Uh, and then she adds on a handful of lettuce, uh, followed by a handful of cheese. su salsa de qué, señora? Chile de árbol, joven. ¿Está picosa? Picosísima. ¿Picosísima? Sí. Oh, awesome. Picosísima. Picosísima. <laughs> Muy bien. Gracias. She hands you your tostada or your quesadilla. I got a tostada first. And then it's self-service for the salsa. And she said it's a spicy salsa. I'm beginning with the tostada. I'm beginning with the quesadilla. Oh, it's the chicken. It's chicken, señora? Oh, wow. Oh, that chicken is just stewed with so much flavor. Oh, and that salsa. That salsa is a little bit spicy, but so flavorful. That's sensational. I, I, I honestly was not expecting it to be that flavorful. That's awesome. Mm. Outstanding. How's the quesadilla? It's really, really amazing. At the, at the beginning, I feel like it's really mm, unflavored. But when you bite the chicken, wow. This is a fried quesadilla. Normally, they are not ah, fried. So okay. this is kind of quesadilla. For the people that see in this, we call it quesadilla. But only, only in Mexico City, we can ask, we can try a quesadilla without cheese. But in Mexico, in Mexico, you can try the quesadilla without cheese. Wow, okay. It's, I never knew that. Next up, my turn for the quesadilla, and as Lalo explained, it's chicken on the inside. So it's not a cheese quesadilla, and it's fried, and that salsa is just blowing my taste buds off of my tongue. It, that salsa is incredible. It, it, it is spicy. It burns your lips, and I love it. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, the quesadilla is equally as delicious. It's really crispy. The chicken, yeah, she was explaining to us that on the tostada, it's uh, pinga, which is the name of the dish. It's like a stewed chicken. Uh, but this one is just plain chicken. It's just so unbelievably good. It is right at the entrance of Puerta Cinco, gate number five. Uh, Mercado de Xochimilco, you have to come here. That, 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 oh, that's, it's awesome. Se I llaman it, quesadillas de carne molita. Oh, quesadillas de carne molita. Yeah, ah. it's almost the same. Gracias. It's completely deep fried. There's beef in the center, but then she does open it up. And there is, she does add in a little bit of salsa. Oh, you can even see that's like deep fried beef inside of there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The beef have a delicious flavor. It does. Oh, it almost tastes oh. like a sausage. And the sauce is not spicy. Yeah. That's tasty and juicy. Often Ying and I like the Jamaica, which is hibiscus or uh, roselle. It's roselle, and it's a it's a great juice. It's refreshing, um, and we stopped for we, we we need some some refreshments, some cold drinks after all those salty tacos. I think I got one of those straws with a hole in it because I don't I can't suck up that much, but it is good. It's sweet. It has a little bit of a floral taste to it. Yep. Okay, we're actually running out of time because we came to Xochimilco in the afternoon and we gotta catch the boat, but we're running out of daylight. Uh, but we chose to eat one more thing. We're coming to eat carnitas. This is the awesomest looking stall ever and he's so friendly. 
he's such a character. Uh, and they just have this massive pile of like gnarly looking braised fried meat carnitas just just heaping. It's a heap of meat. So this is a place we have to eat. They've just given us a, a sample of the carnitas. Oh yeah. That is tender, greasy, supreme. You can trust this man with your pork. He knows what he's doing. He, he braises all that meat um, and cooks all that meat and then it sits out on the, on the counter there. And then when you order, he chops it up. And what he does is he grabs that handful of meat and he sticks it back into the, the pork oil juices and let it, lets it boil again uh, to, to heat it and then also to, to inject it with more flavor. And then that goes into your taco. This thing is an absolute taco monster. Look at that. There's so much meat in there. I don't know if there's gonna be any clean way to eat this. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm ready. Ooh, oh, you're amazing taco. <laughs> huge. <laughs> That's taco. huge. It's huge. <laughs> okay. That is like tender, fatty, oily meat and salty. It's just falling all out the back end. Look at my plate. I'm losing things. Oh man, there was so much meat in that tortilla. It was just, it was bloated with meat. Uh, we gotta run now because we're running out of sunlight. So this market, you have been very good to us. Amazing food, very friendly people, and yeah, just a just a very cool, low-key, easy to get around market. This is a great market to explore before you get on a boat when you visit Xochimilco. There are quite a few different boat docks where you can catch a boat, but we're walking to one just down the road here. We are at Embarcadero Caltongo, which is the, the dock that we're setting off from. So right now we're just, Lalo is trying to negotiate for a boat. And I love the boats, how colorful they are. They're so iconic. Gracias. There are so many boats, so we have to walk all the way to the end boat to leave. Uh, that took a little bit of negotiating, but we finally got a, got a driver and we're on our way. Oh, this is our boat. I think this is it. Oh, this is excellent. Micah, you're gonna love this. Micah has been looking forward to this all day long. Really? <laughs> yeah. So like I was mentioning before, Xochimilco, it's a very historic area. It's a pre-Hispanic, it was a pre-Hispanic town. And they had created a series of, well, a very extensive system of man-made canals. And so that system connected many of the villages throughout this valley. Today, it's more of like a party environment. People, families, and parties rent these boats and they cruise around and, and hang out and have parties. Uh, but it's really a fun environment. One of the great things about this is that there's no motors, there's no engines on the boats, so they, they row the boat by a big stick, just pushing the stick down, so it's peaceful. Uh, you can definitely hear the sounds of music and people, but uh, the, the, the peace of the canal is, is beautiful. Maybe, I really love Xochimilco because it's like a party, Really buddy on the boats, on trajineras, that it is amazing. Just check it. When we started off, it seemed so quiet. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then we got into the canal, and all of a sudden, it's like a giant party. There's I, like, I, and you say, no, it's so quiet. Whoa. You can, you know, you can also boat. a little bumper boat. <laughs> but now, it's yeah, at the it's, crazy. It's like a canal highway. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like all, all, all sorts of different music you can hear from every single boat. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. Some of them, some of them are like 
college parties. Some of them are like family get-togethers. Yeah. With mari mariachi. There's a whole mariachi band right here. There's so much going on. Woo! Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're adults. We're not partying. Yeah, we're the only ones not partying. <laughs> okay, so it is just about pure dark right now, but the party continues. There's so many boats out here on the canals in Xochimilco, and our boat driver just said that they'll go all night if you want to pay for it. Traffic jam right here. There's so many boats. There's about 25 different musics. So that brings us to the end of this Xochimilco tour. Big thank you to Lalo. He's La Ruta de la Garnacha on YouTube. I'll leave his link in the description box. Check out his awesome videos. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. The market is especially awesome. There's some amazing food. Uh, so if you come here, be sure to go to the market first, eat some amazing food, and then come get a boat. And if you come, you can come in the daytime and it will be a little less of a party environment. Uh, but you can still come 24 hours a day. Mexico is waiting for you. Welcome to Mexico, Mark. It Thank was you. a pleasure. It was an honor to be with gracias. you. Gracias, muchas gracias. So, so much fun. Always fun to hang out with Lalo. So that's it. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. I'm going to be publishing lots more food and travel videos. And goodbye from Xochimilco.